Could you kind of talk to us a little bit about what's going on with China investing in big tech? Yeah, I mean, that's a great point. Now, a lot of people think, you know, Bill Gates, he's worth, what, $100 billion or something like that. Uh, Mark Zuckerberg, Elon Musk. How do you buy off a guy that rich? Uh, they, they buy them off in the financial sense. They also appeal to their ego. Uh, but there's also this kind of weird uh, attraction that some people in Silicon Valley have to the authoritarian model of China. Um, I quote this computer scientist from MIT in the 1970s who says that computer programmers, in a sense, can develop this God complex because they get to design using code, they get to design their own world. If you look at Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg designed that world exactly the way that he wanted that world to exist. And what this professor Wiesenbaum warned is that it can lead tech people to have this sort of sense that they should be godlike in other areas of life as well. So part of the appeal to the big tech uh, uh, titans is not just money, it's also this sense that you have this Chinese government and they'll use words like it's very efficient, right? Or they get things done or they're very responsive uh, to things. Well, you know, if you don't have to worry about a legislature, if you don't have to worry about an independent judicial system, of course you can be that way. So it's kind of a combination of motives, but it's pretty straightforward. Uh, you know, Bill Gates, uh, the guys that founded Google, are essentially told if you want access to the Chinese uh, market, which is of course the biggest market in the world by far, uh, you have to play by a certain set of rules that we set up. And once they have them hooked, once they have them, uh, they then use that to pressure these tech titans to give them things that they want. So Bill Gates, for example, Microsoft, going back to the 90s, wanted to get into China. The Chinese government said, yeah, you know, we'll buy your computer software, we'll, we'll buy those things, but you have to, first of all, uh, you know, create engineering jobs, move engineering jobs out of the Pacific Northwest uh, and set them up in China. And they agreed. So 3,000 jobs, engineering jobs, went from the United States to China. That was part of the package deal. And then today, Bill Gates does all kinds of things. Uh, with China. He invests in companies. There's a company called BYD that's developing uh, missile guidance technologies for the Chinese military. Uh, he was involved in a Chinese a venture to build small nuclear reactors that could have applications for submarines, aircraft carriers, all kinds of things. That was eventually stopped uh, under the Trump administration by the Justice Department on national security grounds. But, but these guys are doing, you know, big favors for the Chinese military, the Chinese intelligence service uh, with their dollars, uh, and they don't seem to care. They're smart people. They know what they're doing. They know the implications of it, but they just don't seem to care. 